Greetings, or honorable juries, where the INIC participate from Sekolah Menengah Atas Negeri 2 Tangerang Selatan High School in Indonesia. In this short 5 minutes video, we're going to present you our research project that is based solely on research journals and theories. We hope you enjoy our video. Thank you. Indonesia has long been a country with one of the worst waste management system as well as the second plastic waste producing country. The landfill is a complete nightmare. Hence, there should be a way to improve on how most landfill in Indonesia manage their waste. The researchers were inspired from Cipecang, a landfill located just beside a river. When rain happens, the piling waste erodes, polluting the river which then causes spreading odor over a mile radius. And this is where our idea came out. We visited the Cipecang landfill and saw a lot of plastic and organic waste piling up. Those waste can be profitable if we turn them into something else something that is rather increasing in demand, fuel. We are solving the problem by developing a technology that not only turns LDP plastic waste into fuel, but also organic waste combined together. So, how is it possible? The theory is that this waste to fuel conversion can be done by a mechanism called plastic pyrolysis. What pyrolysis means is that it is a method that decomposes certain material at high temperature. So roughly, the plastic pyrolysis breaks down the chemical compounds on plastic in an intense heat, which means that additional fuel is required to power the pyrolysis. The problem is that the conventional pyrolysis uses non-renewable fuel such as diesel and wood, which means that it's not fully sustainable. We developed the technology so that it uses any organic waste as the fuel or what is known as landfill gas. Hence, no fossil fuels are required. We call it B-Waste Fuel Generator. This is how it works. The machine is integrated to landfill gas source using a gas pipe to fuel the pyrolysis. The landfill gas production mine should be huge and centralized, with an appreciable amount of production after 1 to 3 years of organic waste decomposition. The landfill gas can be made from absolutely anything as long as it is organic, hence it is suitable for landfill. The first step is to choose the right material, and that is LTPE plastic, such as plastic wrap. It should weigh around a ton for maximum efficiency. The material is later decontaminated and shredded into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are then densified to make it more space efficient, where later it is sent to pyrolysis chamber. The material is heated up to 500 degrees Celsius at the rate of 10 Celsius per minute, so roughly 50 minutes. Then the material is sent to second chamber, catalytic chamber where it is mixed with catalyst substance and maintained at 500 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. Around 2.5% of the total mesh should be filled with catalyst substance, aluminum silicate. Catalyst is mandatory in the process of pyrolysis as it can speed up the chemical reaction. When the material turns into gas, it is then sent to condensation chamber to achieve liquid form. However, not all of the gas is entirely liquefied. Some are still in gas form. The leftover gas is then continued to the next condensation chamber where it is also turned into liquid, and the process is repeated. This stage is called refining. The liquid material from the condensation stage will be sent to a specific chamber, the waste oil chamber, the gasoline chamber, and the diesel chamber. The refining process uses a water cooling method to lessen the heat. According to Swami Kanjavan Institute of Technology Management and Gramathan, Plastic pyrolysis will produce 84% liquid, 13% gas, and the rest 3% as solid residue, such as black ash. The liquid fraction itself consists of 56.6% gasoline fuel, 37.8% diesel fuel, and various mixture of fuel as the rest. The fuel can later be used to power any machine, including your car. It can also be sold. So. How can this product have its potential both commercially and environmentally? Indonesia has huge landfills spread around the country. Thus, if the energy that can potentially be made on landfills can be optimized, the nation will gain a huge advantage using this product. The waste fuel generator can be used to fix waste management in landfill, as well as bringing income to the owner and the society from the fuel that it produces. If used properly, this technology can bring huge impact and benefit both for the user and the society.